Suffragette leader Emmeline Pankhurst visited Peterborough in February 1911. She spoke to a large crowd at the Corn Exchange on what is now St John's Square. Meanwhile, the first offices of the Women's Social and Political Union stood at 14 Cromwell Road. The building no longer stands but was part of a row of villas where the car park is now. The office was run by Helen Craggs. Luckily, Stanley Recreation Ground still survives. This was the scene of the most exciting event in the history of Peterborough suffragettes. On Friday the 15th of November 1912, suffragettes arrived in Peterborough, banners flying. They were led by Florence Flon Blanc on a protest march from Edinburgh to London and had stopped at Peterborough. The Peterborough Advertiser reported that the march was met five miles out of town by roguish young men singing comic songs. When the suffragettes reached Stanley Recreation Ground, where they were to hold a meeting, they were stopped by the crowd, throwing fireworks, and chased off to the Bedford Hotel at 10A Cumbergate, where they were to stay the night. The crowd stayed outside for over an hour, heckling, shouting and singing. Mrs Fordham of Fletton Avenue was secretary of the WSPU at this time. She reported that a hat pin she had been wearing was smashed that day at Stanley Rec as a man attempted to seize her head and twist her neck. The hat pin was broken into three pieces, two of which lodged in her head. Mrs Fordham also turned just in time to see a young woman preparing to jab her in the back with a hat pin. It was dangerous to be a suffragette in Peterborough.